today is day three of inpatient for skin disease. Yep, correct. December 7, 2018. This is a 12 years old male, not neutered poodle. Okay. The, the history was that three days ago the owner came and as you can see in the first video, there were rashes all over the body. And uh, the dog was very itchy. The dog had been to the groomer and uh, according to the owner, he told his daughter not to go to that groomer in a, a certain location but the daughter brought the dog to the groomer and came back with lots of rashes and uh, itchiness and there's a foul smelling uh, foul smelling or foul smell from the body of this dog now this is day three of treatment anti-inflammatory antibiotics and anti-fungus huh? now we see this side the rashes are still there Okay, now we see, we see the right inside. The rashes are there. Let me, let me, let me go there. The rashes are there, but not so prominent. Huh? Not so prominent. You can still see in the light. Okay, we look at the belly. We, we turn up and see the belly. I'm reviewing the dog whether it can go home or not. Slowly, slowly the leg is caught. Yeah. You can see the, the belly, the rashes are there, but not so prominent. The paws are still red and there's a wart there wait let me show the wart on this paw and this old dog has some uh, scratches is it let's see the, the below behind the ears there's some redness yeah, there on, on the left ear now my just turn up this seems to be very uh, reddish huh? this one this this one we had used the ultraviolet light and there was some fluorescence indicative of ringworm but generally you can see the rashes have subsided they are still there and uh, so this could be a case of generalized pustular dermatitis that is bacteria with fungus in some areas but not every every rash is a fungal infection so we will wash it one more day and then let the dog go, go home. Okay, end of video.